guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so since we have gate exam which is quite near we only have few days for the upcoming gate exam it is very important for you to understand gate calculator and to use it while solving questions i have already discussed about it and i have given a lot of like i have emphasized it a lot in my previous videos where i have i have said that you should definitely use gate calculator to uh, solve numericals but i am here to talk about some advanced type of questions or some advanced uh, calculation which you can do using this scientific calculator so that if you are new to it or if you have never used gate calculator it becomes easy for you uh, in exam to use it right because see the calculations which you are going to get in exam they you cannot do it manually you need this calculator and you cannot avoid uh, using it and it's very simple and very easy calculator yet you should have a idea of it or you should be used to it okay first of all this gate calculator is available for everyone to practice uh, it's there on the TCS ION digital uh, website. I'll give you a link for this in the description of this video so that you can directly, uh, you know, uh, download this or you can just go to the website and it's basically a web page where you can use this calculator. So that's what you can do first of all, okay. Just visit that website and uh, get this calculator and try to use it for all your calculations, whatever you are preparing for the exam. Uh, so basic things you already know, these are your number pad, you can fill in your numbers. Uh, this is the place where you will get to know that what you are doing and this is the place where you give, which is going to give you results or values okay answers okay this is to clarify everything or clear everything and this is to uh, go back space like one step back okay if you accidentally press this everything will go zero okay if, if you are going just one step back you have to click this okay number pad uh, plus minus multiply divide percentage under root if you have to take fraction one upon something if you have to take let's say if you want to do one upon two okay so just write down this okay so the thing is how it works is uh, if you want to write down one upon two you do not have to press this and then two no okay these functions work upon the given value so this place gives also gives you that what you have entered so if i press this it goes clear and then if i want to get the value of one upon three so i have to write down first three and then I have to press this, okay, 1 upon x, so it will give me the value of 1 upon 3, so 1 upon 3 is 0.33, okay, so it is as simple as that, you can do all the, like, because you know in Arrhenius equation or in, even in certain calculations when you will be using uh, clausius Clapeyron equation and all, you will have temperature in 1 upon, so you can use this over there, okay, also to double sure, you just press uh, equal to sign to get the value over here, okay, but yeah, that's what it is. Uh, under root is again same if you want to take under root of 4 you have to press 4 first and then press under root okay so it gives you square root of 4 that is 2 okay similarly if you want to take square root of let's say 36 so press 36 first and then press this so it is going to give you uh, uh, like uh, like the square root of 36 all right now the important things which you are going to use in chemistry which is log anti log ln okay ln and log i guess you already know ln is your natural log or log base e and uh, log is your log base 10 okay you can convert from log base e to log base 10 by multiplying with 2.303 i think the, those things you already know this is e to the power x okay e to the power something let's say if you have e to the power 2.303 so first you have to give 2.303 okay 3 sorry uh, okay so if i have to now if i press this c it will erase everything i have to go just one step back so i will press this backspace okay so 303 okay so 2.303 and i want it e to the power so i will click now this so it is give me it is going to give me power of e 2.303 and its value is 10 point something okay so this is how it is done uh, so all these functions they only work these are function keys okay they all work when you give certain value over here okay so again for log let's say i want to calculate the value of log uh, 50 okay so i will give 50 first and then i will press this log so the value of log 50 is 1.6989 now let's say if i want to find out uh, that what is the value of anti log okay uh, or anti log of 1.6959 this value okay what is the anti log of it so I have to press this, okay. This 10 to the power x is the anti log button. Log is here, anti log is just below it. This is log, this is anti log, okay. So if I press this, this will be applicable on this, okay. This value, whichever is written over here. So it's going to be applied on that, and that is going to give me. So basically, I'm doing 
anti log of log 50 which is going to give me 50 back okay because you know log and anti log are opposite functions i can also tell you like this let's say i want to do uh, anti log of uh, 2.303 and i want to do anti log of it well press 10 to the power x so this is going to give me so anti log of 2.303 is 200.909 okay uh, ln is natural log as I have said so that also goes like that the rest of the things over here probably you won't be using that much this is mostly used by uh, those who are in um, like engineering students and all they have more intensive use of these things I would suggest you to just use like most of the things will be done what I have told you till here you can also play around with other values like x to the power y if you want to put certain power to certain value okay that's how it goes uh, so that's how it goes if you want to just do square of something this is direct key for that if you want to do cube of something you have direct key for that so yeah you can play around with this and these brackets are most important thing okay because when you are doing long calculations you have to use these brackets to uh, use them to calculate or to make the further calculations all right now i'm going to take certain question and based upon their numericals, I am going to show you how you can use this calculator to solve them. All right, let's have that. All right, so let's start with an easy question. Okay, it says that for a given uh, first order reaction, the reactant reduces to one fourth of its initial value in 10 minutes. The rate constant of the reaction is okay. So the formula is pretty simple. You know that rate constant K is equals to 2.303 upon T because it's a first order reaction, that's why. And then we have log. Uh, initial concentration upon final concentration okay a not upon a or initial concentration upon final concentration you know that the reactant reduces to one fourth of its initial concentration so since it is given that the final concentration is one fourth of your initial concentration so if you put it over here and uh, you also know that time is 10 minutes so you can basically substitute everything so your k will be 2.303 divided by 10 and then you will be having log a naught divided by 1 by 4 a naught okay so a naught and a naught will cancel out and this 1 by 4 will become 4 because this will eventually go up so k will be 2.303 upon 10 and then we have log 4 now this is the calculation which you have to use calculator to solve it further so always whenever you have certain calculation like this to make always try to solve the logarithmic part first okay calculate this part first and then use the other part and solve it further so you know that you have log 4 so i'm going to use my calculator i already say, told you that you cannot write down log 4 you have to write down 4 and then write down log so you got your log 4 okay and then this log 4 is multiplied by 2.303 always multiply the stuff first and then divide okay so then multiply with 2.303 okay uh, then you press this multiplication sign or if you want you can just divide it here also okay it does not matter but I am just going one step one by one so I am just doing ok and then I am dividing it by 10. So this is going to give me a value of 0 0.13865 which is basically your uh, 0 0.13, 0 0.13865 uh, minute inverse right because your time is in minutes so your rate constant will be minute inverse which is your option number a so as simple as that okay now i'm going to take a little bit uh, uh like more advanced type of question where i'm going to use both anti-log function and um, like exponential function to show you how how you are going to use that all right so let's take that all right let's take another question this was asked in gate 2019 and it's a numerical answer type question and it says that the normal boiling point of compound x is 350 kelvin and heat of vaporization is 30 kilojoules per mole the pressure required to boil x at 300 kelvin is how much torr okay and you have to round off to two decimal places that's what they are telling and ignore the temperature variation of the uh, delta h vaporization and uh, the gas constant you have to take 8.31 joules per mole per kelvin and 1 atm is equals to 760 tor that's what they have given to you using all these data you have to solve it and get uh, to the correct answer now the thing is before going into the solution of it let me tell you that all these questions i'm taking from our gate uh, topic wise previous years question ebook it's a ebook which we have launched which contains all the previous years questions starting from gate 2000 to gate 2024 
all these 24 question papers are being solved over there in topic wise manner so all these questions are segregated topic wise along with that you get detailed solution of all these questions all the solutions are there in the ebook so in case if you want to purchase that ebook the link is there in the description of this video all right uh let's now try to solve this okay so what are the things given to us so the initial temperature or the normal boiling point is given to you as 350 kelvin and uh, then your heat of vaporization so delta h vaporization is given to you as 30 kilojoules per mole okay or you can say that this is 30 into 10 to the power 3 or basically 30 thousand right i should write on 30 thousand joules per mole okay because that's oh, everything is in joule per mole so i'm converting it in that our next we are given with gas constant as 8.314 um joule uh, or 8.31 uh, let's take the value which is given to us joule per mole per kelvin okay and also we are given with that one atm is equals to 760 tor that's fine and then what we have to calculate is the pressure required to boil at 300 and 300 kelvin so this is the final temperature t2 we need uh, the like we need at this particular temperature so 300 kelvin you know that at normal boiling point the pressure should be 1 atm of course so pressure over here is 1 atm or i would say this is 760 tor okay so let's call it as p1 initial pressure and the final pressure at t2 is what i have to calculate okay this is the thing which i have to calculate you might have already guessed it we have to use uh clausius clapeyron equation to solve it further all right equation is like log p2 by p1 okay log p2 by p1 is equals to minus delta h upon 2.303 r and in the bracket you have 1 upon t2 minus 1 upon t1 okay this is what you have now you just have to substitute the values and you will get the answer so let's try to solve it we need to find out p2 p1 is given to us so let's write down so log um, p2 p1 is 760 so let's write it down like that minus delta h is 330000 so 30000 divided by 2.303 and the value of r is 8.31 and in the bracket i have 1 upon t2 is 300 minus 1 upon 350 so let's try to solve this part because this is easy to do uh, but i'm going to use calculator directly to get this but understand that these two things are in multiplication and you have to divide this value with the multiplication of both of them so it's always better to put bracket over here so that the uh, calculator registers this as a single entity and this part as a uh, as another entity so let's try to do it so we have uh, 30,000, okay, and you have to divide this by bracket of 2.303, and you have to multiply this with 8.31, okay. You have to close your bracket. Now you see this is the function which we have, right? 30,000 divided by 2.303 multiplied by 8.31, and this is giving us, uh, okay. So you have to press equal to sign also. So when you divide it you will get 1567.56 okay and because you have a negative sign so this is going to give me minus uh, 1567.56 okay and rest of the things i have already is to solve it so 1 upon 300 minus 1 upon 350 actually i can do that also i can put the values directly so this is the value which i have got now let's put the value of this so i'm going to clear this up completely so i have to do 1 upon 300 right so i'll do 1 by x so this is going to give me 0 0.0033 okay so this is going to give me 0 0.0033 minus this part let's try to solve so again i have 350 and i'll take 1 upon so this is going to give me 0 0.0028 so 0 0.0028 okay now is the thing that you can use your uh, rest of the things to do okay so i'm just going to do it 
over here okay so this part i'm doing here because i have a space in this part so now i have log p2 upon 760 is equals to so i can put this whole thing in the calculator so basically i'll be getting so i have minus sign okay so i can put it like this also i can put minus first okay so minus I have 1567, so 1567, 67 point, then I have 56, so I will write down 56, okay, and then this particular thing is multiplied by this subtraction, okay, so I will write down, multiply this, and I will put a bracket of 0 0.00, so 0 0.0033, I have 0 0.0028, so 0 0.0028, bracket close, okay. So, the value of this whole thing, I will put equal to sign. So, the value of this whole thing will be minus 0 0.783, uh, so minus 0 0.78378. Now, to solve it further, you need to take anti-log, right, because you have P2 upon 760 is equals to anti log, you know, because the log will go on the other side and it will become anti log. So, anti log of minus 0 0.78378. So, it is very easy for me because I have this value already over here. I just have to press this button and it will take anti log of this whole thing. So, if I take this, this is giving me anti log of 0. Point, uh, minus 0 0.78378 and it is 0 0.1645. So, this value will be um, will be uh, 0 0.1645 and then uh, to get uh, and then to get the value of P2, I just have to multiply it with 760. So, I can just directly put a multiplication sign with 760 and I should get my final answer which is 125.03. So, the final value of P2 will be 125.03. 125.03 is my answer. Okay, so this is how you can do complex calculation using your calculator. You just need to know the basic functions and how to use them. It will become much clearer to you if you will practice more and more using this calculator. By the way, we have our own test series for gate exam and for CSNet exam both. Over there also we provide the same calculator which you get in the gate exam. So, if you use our uh, or if you enroll into our uh, test series and you give our test series and if you use these scientific calculator over there, it becomes highly easy for you to get adapt to the uh, condition which you are going to get in the exam. Okay, So, we have our own test series running on our app and website both. The links are there in the description. You can directly enroll yourself into those test series and uh, that is it from my side for this particular video. I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.